What's up everyone? It's Salpi, your One Soul Nutrition Coach, and I'm very excited because this is the first of a brand new series that we're working on. We are finally doing weekly recipes. So you can find these videos on our YouTube channel, and we're basically gonna be sharing one recipe a week with you guys. So whether that is a meal prep idea, a One Soul recipe, you can now find them here. If there's anything you wanna see, let us know in the comments, and let's get into it. Today's recipe is one of my favorites, especially for spring and summer. It's very fresh, it's very loaded with flavors and also really really easy to make this is everything we're gonna use so we've got pickles bell pepper tuna spring onion mayo mustard salt and pepper that's all you're gonna need and of course you can always customize this to whatever you want but what we're going to be making is tuna salad and then we're gonna be stuffing it into our bell peppers and then you eat it like a sandwich it's really easy it's really high in protein the entire thing for one serving is 282 calories for 31 grams of protein only 10 grams of carbs and 11 grams of fat so very good macro wise the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our tuna you can get whatever kind of tuna you want macros for tuna is usually pretty much the same across all tuna cans I personally really like the yellow fin tuna in olive oil but the one I've got is 29 grams of protein and then the rest of the protein is coming from the mayo the mustard the pickles the bell pepper and whatnot so 29 grams of protein we're just gonna we're just gonna throw that in <laughs> The next step is going to be the mayo. I got the light mayonnaise, so it's less fat, and it this one only has 35 calories per tablespoon. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that, dump that in there. Next is going to be the mustard. This part is completely optional. I personally really like the taste of mustard, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a squirt of that. Mustard is also a really good hack for cooking because it's literally zero calories, so you can have as much as you want. So I'm just gonna give a nice generous squirt of that. It's pretty good. The next step is going to be our spring onion. I got two of them. I'm just going to cut off the butt, set that aside, and I'm gonna slice that into even slices. I don't have my big knife, so I'm struggling with this little guy right now. Milushka, please go away. We're trying okay. to film a recipe. I've been watching a lot of MasterChef and it's gotten me extra passionate about cooking, but my chopping skills are still not all that. Also, I think you're not supposed to use the green part. I think you're supposed to save it for like garnishing, but I'm just, I just throw all of it in there. I don't know, I'm not really gonna garnish anything. Next, we're gonna go in with the pickles. I got some dill pickles. Um, I think they taste the best. If you want to get another kind of pickle, be my guest. But I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. Pickles are also zero calories, so if you like a lot of pickles, put in a lot of pickles. If you don't, don't. But I like the kind of taste that they add. I'm just going to gauge it and see if I need more or less. I like pickles, so I'm probably going to go in with a little bit more. Toss those in. Now we mix. So, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. And this is also when you can kind of gauge, like, is there an ingredient that you're missing? Do you want it to be a little bit more saucy? Um, do you want to add more mustard, more mayo? Did you not put as much spring onion and pickles as you thought you were? So this is kind of when you kind of, this is kind of when you kind of, this is kind of when you kind of, this is when you can gauge that. <laughs> we're almost done. We got to season this. So. I like to keep it very simple for this specific meal and I'm just gonna hit it with some sea salt and some black pepper. I really can't picture anything else to go in there, so. I mean, I guess you could add dill because the pickles are dill pickles. So if you like the taste of dill, throw some in. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna season that and I'm just eyeballing it, so no measurements for that. Do what you like with the sea salt. And then black pepper, mix, mix, mix. My mom used to make us this when we were little and we would eat it in bread or whatever it is that we were eating it in. And it was literally one of like, I would go feral for this. If it was summer and I was out playing all day and I knew my mom was making tuna salad, mm, I would just lose my mind. It's just, it's so simple, but it's so good. And then growing up and realizing how much protein is in this thing, please. Okay, the gains are safe this summer. This thing is mixed and it's ready to go. Our last step or before last is going to be to slice this and then we're going to just scoop it in there and plate it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice it in half, turning that upside down. And you can get rid of this inside part. Bonus points if you get the butt out at the same time. All we're gonna do is just scoop that in. 
I went with green because I feel like it would be the most aesthetically pleasing since it complements the green onions in the tuna salad. But if you prefer red or orange or yellow bell peppers, do your thing. Also, if you've been paying attention to our nutrition corners, you would know that red bell peppers would have the most nutrients because the darker and more vibrant it is, the more antioxidants it has. Okay, I went ahead and plated this. I also gave myself another pickle to just munch on, on as I'm having it. Um, but yeah, there you have it. It's absolutely stunning and it is so delicious. And I'm about to take a bite, even though I know what it tastes like. I'm gonna take one for y'all so you can hear the crunch. It is so good. And I nailed it, honestly. Like my measurements were perfect for what I like and my taste. There you go. Like I said, this entire plate that you're looking at is 282 calories with 31 grams of protein, 10 grams of carbs, and 11 grams of fat. If you're requiring more carbs in your diet, this would definitely be on the lower carb side. Um, so I would definitely recommend having some kind of carb to go along with this. But for me and my diet and what I'm looking for in terms of my goals, this is a perfect meal. I hope you guys try this out and enjoy it. And if you do, please let me know in the comments below what you think. And I would like any kind of feedback if you think this recipe is terrible. You can keep that to yourself, but if you love it, do let me know. And if there's any other recipes that you would want me to make and show you how to make or give you any ideas or inspo, let me know and I would be more than happy to hop in the kitchen and do this for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.